Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Catherine and today I am making soap. If you've never made soap before, there are a few things you're going to want to be aware of. You want to wear gloves um, and work in a well ventilated area. Wear long sleeves too, that's not a bad idea either. And for your first time at least, follow a recipe. I usually just make mine up on the fly and then punch it into a lie calculator and follow whatever it tells me. I did that today, but I also wrote down what I did so that I could tell it to you. In here, I have got my oils. Uh, this is 16 ounces of lard, 16 ounces of soybean oil, uh, 5 ounces of 76 degree coconut oil, 4 ounces of canola oil, and 1 ounce of shea nut oil. And in here, I have got my lye water. This is 13.86 ounces of water. I used ice cubes. I find it gives me a better melt on my, on my lye. And 5.44 uh, ounces of lye. The first thing that you're going to want to do is melt all of your hard oils and mix them with your soft oils. I've already done that and I've got those in this picture here. And then mix your lye with your water and make sure that it gets fully dissolved. This recipe should make a total of 61.3 ounces of soap, which is a lot. It makes a lot of soap. I have a great big loaf, loaf mold here that I made myself. It's not the prettiest thing to look at, but it gets the job done and makes nice big bars of soap because I like... I like big bars of soap. Um, once you've got everything mixed and dissolved, you are going to want to slowly incorporate your lye water into your oil. Uh, just stirring as you go. You don't want to try and get any air bubbles in there, so you want to be gentle about it. Some people will pour the lye water over the spatula in order to try and decrease the bubbles at this stage that's not going to be super super significant both ingredients are still pretty liquid it hasn't started the saponification process yet scrape all of that lye water out of your measuring cup or bowl or regular cup or whatever you're using for mixing your lye water in because you are measuring with a scale not measuring with any measure marks so it doesn't have to be a measuring cup but make sure whatever you are using for soaping you use only for soaping once you've used something for soaping you don't want to use it for anything else because lye is not kind stuff until it's been fully converted to soap soap at least um, I am going today to attempt a gradient soap bar so that's you know uh, changing from one color to another from the bottom of the mold up to the top so I am just gently gently mixing my lye and oil I do have a stick blender over here but this is actually saponifying fast enough that I don't know that I want to use the stick blender. It's thickening up pretty quick. We'll see if it gets stuck. If it does, I'll put the stick blender in and we'll use that. Um, but because I'm doing a gradient, I want this to soap slowly. I want to have enough time to mix a new color in after each layer. So I don't want to take it uh, to trace very quickly and the first pour the first layer I do in the mold I want it to be hardly any trace at all this actually looks like it's slowing down and I am not a patient person so I may grab my stick blender and give it a quick run we shall see let's see if we can't without beating air into it because we don't want to end up with a bunch of air bubbles in our soap get it to come to trace a little quicker it's probably not a good idea but i am not patient 
All right, so since we're going to be using the stick blender in it, you want to put it in. You want to let any air out of the cup at the bottom of the stick blender. And then just give it a quick blast. This is going to be loud, you guys. Um, Alright, that was just a couple seconds, but it's already soaked up way more, and I'm going to check my trace. What trace is, is where you can pull your blender or spatula or whatever out of your soap and trail it along the surface. And if it leaves a trace on the top, uh, then you know that it's reached trace. Um, there are different levels of trace, different hardnesses of soap. We're going for a light one today. Gave it a couple more seconds. Going to check for trace again. Yeah, okay. That is what I want to see. That is just a very light trace. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to add my scent. Well, I'll have to toss it in and mix it by hand. That's fine. Um, I don't want it to go too much further than this. At least not for the first pour. So I'm going to scrape this off because there's no sense in wasting it I've made it now there we go and then set my spatula in there yeah see it's thickening up quick at this point all right and then set aside my stick blender okay I've got some soap stations of uh, vanilla liquid soap scent I'm just gonna open that up and soap scent can be tricky. With a batch this big, you just want to kind of add like that much. Now it smells nice. Still have vanilla in here. And it was actually probably a good idea to bring it to the trace that I wanted first because I don't know whether or not this soap scent is going to accelerate my saponification. And by accelerate, um, we mean going to make it thicken up faster go so I'm just going to continue to mix that in and yep that's still actually I may have lost a little bit of trace with that which is interesting Let's see if we can't mix that a little more and then yeah I've lost my trace it's reverted well then let's pull back out our stick blender and try again. All right, making sure to burp it and go. All right, and then check again. Yep, back to where I want it to be. Awesome. Okay. That is a really unusual thing. I didn't expect it to thin out like that. That's okay, though. Sometimes making soap is a surprise. All right. Inside. Separate that off. Set aside my blender again. <laughs> and... Yeah, see that's holding its trace now. All right, so I'm going to pour a thin layer into the bottom of my mold to all edges. And if it doesn't reach the edges on its own, I'll just kind of encourage it a little bit. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I want this gradient to be green. So I'm going to, actually, I don't know if I've got enough green here. I'll switch to 
blue. Well, yeah, in candy at least, uh, vanilla is usually blue. So that is an all right thing to do, I think. I will switch to blue and I will add, let's see, like maybe four drops. One, two, three, four, and see how blue that makes this. So this is my blue soap dye. It is from Art Minds. That's a Michaels brand. And it comes in a three pack of liquid soap dyes. You can get, get ones um, for a couple of different kinds of soap there. Let's just gently mix that in and see what kind of color we get. Hmm, I might need a couple more drops. I'll add two more and see what kind of color. So this will put us up at six drops. I don't want to add too much. Go. And I do want that soap in there to kind of set a little bit more while I'm mixing the color in. Ooh. all right that I think gives me a more blue soap now I do want to pour this over the spatula because I want it to go in gently that way it floats on top I'm trying to not allow it to combine too much yeah let's use a little bit more blue that may have been more than I wanted. I didn't count drops that time, but I want it to go to a more aggressive color because it'll go more gently now that I've started introducing it. Go. That actually may not even be enough. We shall see. It kind of sprayed everywhere. All right, that's more like what I was thinking. And make sure that it's mixed thoroughly. And then just very gently pour it onto the spatula and add it as another layer that's just kind of sinking that's all right we will see what we end up with it'll be fine oh hmm, my table's not level that's okay it'll work out There we go, added a bit more blue and mix it thoroughly as well. There we go, and then just as lightly as I can, coast it. See, that's just not floating. That's okay. It'll be a swirl in that case. Well, I have failed to make it a gradient. That's all right. It'll work out. Okay, more blue. It'll just be different shades of blue swirled around. That'll be fine. It's too bad, but it'll be fine. It'll still turn out a nice soap. Just not what I wanted. Maybe I should have soaked it further. I was just worried if I did, it wouldn't, it would harden and clump before I was able to put it in the mold. But it is what it is. All right. Let's see if we can't.
put that on top sort of kind of because that's what we're going for and then add just a little bit more dye and mix that in to the last of this batch so that it's very blue without trying too much to mix in air and then toss that on top All right, and that'll be what I can fit into this mold. Um, it should end up, because I poured it so thin, it should end up very smooth on the top, um, which could be pretty interesting. Tune back in a uh, day after tomorrow, and I will show you the cutting of this soap. Now, I'm going to have to move it to a level place, or it's going to set crooked, but... I will see you guys um, day after tomorrow. Actually, I'll put up something tomorrow too, but I will see you guys day after tomorrow with a video showing what it looks like cut. See you guys later. Bye.